Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a really fun project. I am playing along with the Scrappy YouTubers Liftathon. So yesterday Sarah Scraps um, scrapped, scrap lifted a project of mine and today I am scrap lifting a project done by Nikki Rowland. So I will leave more information about that in the description box, but for now, let's just jump in and get started. So this is the project that I am choosing to create. I found it on Nikki's Instagram page and I'm excited to uh, jump in and see what I can, can do with this project. So I have some supplies and a lot of it is for my stash, but the pattern paper, uh, some of the cardstock, and this gorgeous cut file are from Close to My Heart. So recently I purchased just a few products from Close to My Heart. I had not worked with them before. And anyway, I found some really cute stuff and I wanted to, the first thing I wanted to use was um, this kind of pastel Easter spring themed um, kit, I guess it's called. So I will put a link to that in the description box in case you would like to purchase that yourself. Um, but let's get started. So I have done some work here on the background. Um, I've added some just white cardstock that I cut down to uh, 11 inches square and then I did a small mat of a kind of a mint, a darker mint cardstock and then this plaid um, is the background. So I'll flip this over for just a minute so you can see I did gut this pattern paper so I just left a one inch border and I adhered, and then I also cut out the center of the mint paper as well so that I could save those and use them on another project. And then I put this white cardstock on top. I did some stitching, I've got some stitching right here that's gonna be um, behind my title. And then I also stitched a border around the edge with just plain white thread. So to move thing, through things a little more quickly, I have this cut file and I have already backed it. Um, the thing that I did the little bit different on this is that I adhered the papers just on one small section so that I could kind of bend up the edges a little bit and have a little bit of dimension with the cut file. So let me pull uh, Nikki's project over here. And basically I'm gonna use this cut file where she's used the Easter eggs and the little bunny. Um, the story I wanted to tell here is more of a spring story rather than an Easter story. So we'll just start by adhering the cut file. And I'm not going to adhere every little bit of it just in case I want to tuck some things under or around and I also don't want everything glued down flat because um, I would kind of defeat the purpose of the the dimension that I've already given the cut file. Just pull the backing off of this double sided tape and I'm just sticking this down. I don't want things hanging outside of the white cardstock. So I'm just putting it as far as I can up against the margins and then we'll press down just a little bit there. Okay, so the next I thing I have is this photo on Nikki's project she has just one photo and I'm going to stick with that as well and I'm going to put it right 
right about there. And I have put these, the centers on pop dots, but I think actually I'm going to pull these up and go a little bit of a different direction. Um, first of all, I want kind of a softer look. I don't want those um, bright yellow circles on this project in particular. We'll set those aside and I may use them on another project, but for right now, we'll set them aside. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, hopefully you can, but I've drawn a line with a ruler and a pencil right there, just so I can, first of all, that's what I did so I knew where I could do this, where I should stitch. And then second of all, it also helps me with the placement of, of everything else, the photo, title, all of that. And if you'll notice, I just adhered that right in the middle so that I still have options to tuck things behind and under. And this is a strong adhesive. This is a double-sided tape from Thermal Web. And it gives you a really strong hold. So we'll put that photo down there. And then we'll move on to the title. So the title for this project is Spring Break. And these are thickers from, oh, they've been in my stash forever. I'm sure they're no longer available. But they're a really fun, um, kind of a corrugated um, thicker. So I'm going to, because these are, one, they're kind, they're old. They've been in my stash for a while, so they're not super sticky. And because I'm adding them on top of this stitching, I'm going to stitch them or to adhere them with some liquid glue. Okay, so I have my title in place. And the next thing that I want to make sure I have room for is my journaling. And I have my journaling printed and ready to go. So I just need to trim these little strips apart and start adhering them next to the photo. So I'm just going to take my T-square and I want these, I want my journaling to start right under that, that leaf and kind of hug the side, the left side of the photo there. Not quite not overlapping but right close and so I'm just going to keep going with adhering these strips and um, these strips are just printed on white copy paper just right out of the printer nothing super fancy and then I cut them apart with my paper trimmer and then on the back, I just put some double-sided tape that is an eighth of an inch wide. And then I just peel and stick them down in place. So what I did when I was kind of going through and finding products that I wanted to use on this layout the rest of the products in the Close to My Heart kit were pretty, um, either one, they were too dark for the look I was going for, or two, they were very Easter themed. There's a lot of Easter eggs and bunnies that are adorable. They're just not exactly what I'm looking for on this project. So I went into my stash to find products to finish this project up. So what I found, and we'll start adding those now that I have, well, there's one more important 
piece that I need to add before we start embellishing, and that is the date. And I have this label die cut from Felicity Jane, and honestly, I broke my own rule and I stamped on it, but I didn't practice first and I had the date wrong. So what I did was just stamped again on a piece of white cardstock and then I cut the piece of white cardstock down to fit in the center of the label. And we're just going to go with it. It's not an identical match, but it's, it's pretty close. So now that we have the photo, the title, the journaling, and the date, that's when I start, or when I like to start adding the fun stuff in the embellishments. So as I mentioned, I've got that little label from Felicity Jane. And then I've got another one here that is kind of that mint color. So we're just going to layer that underneath there. I have this tag that um, I got from, I believe it's Ellie's Studio. And it was one that I just had in my stash. And I tied the top of it with a little bit of crochet thread or cro crochet twine. I guess I'm not, I call them both. I don't know. I don't know what the correct term is is but we'll just go with it it's it's some white it's some white string we can just call it that so i'm just going to tuck this tag behind there this doesn't it's just for a little bit another pop of pink and a little bit of texture and then i have this cute uh label we can call it a die cut that i got from Ellie's Studio again, and I wanted to adhere that right over here on the edge, just the bottom left corner of the photo. And then I have a couple different, actually before we jump into that, let's take care of these um, where I removed the the centers of the flowers. And what I have here is some pink buttons, or I guess they're white buttons with some pink plaid printed on them that coordinate really well with this kit or with these products. And what I did is just put a little bit of just threaded white thread through the holes and then I put a glue dot on the back. And that's what I'm going to have as the center of my flowers. So we'll just peel these. This is just the backing from the glue dots. We're going to tuck that right in there. And then since that one's under the photo, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it too much. And then I'm going to set these two little ones aside for just a minute. And I may or may not come come back to them but I have these two hearts here that I wanted to um, bring down here to kind of bring a pop of pink and a little bit of texture to the bottom portion so I'm just going to add that double-sided tape right there in the middle of that heart and adhere it right there and kind of push my thumbnail down into it and just gently bend the edges up there just to give it a little bit of lift. And then I have this puffy heart sticker. I think that this one came from an older Pink Fresh Studio collection. It's one that just came from my stash and it looks like it needs a little bit of liquid adhesive to keep it in place. Okay, and then the finishing touch on this project is just going to be a few enamel dots. And these enamel dots come from close to my heart. And this is the Daisy, 
These are the Daisy Meadows enamel dots, and I believe that's the name of this kit as well. Um, but I'll put the links in the description box down below. So I'm just going to add these enamel dots in a couple areas in this lighter pink color. And I'm putting them in groupings of three. And we'll put this last one. Whoops. Right over there. Okay. And then I do want to add these last two little buttons. I think they're too cute to leave off. So I'm just tucking the thread in there and we'll put one kind of overlapping there. And the other one I am, I'm just going to tuck kind of right there so it looks kind of like it's the center of that, of that flower. Okay. And with that, I am going to call this page finished. So I hope you are enjoying this, um, this hop that is going clear into the month of May. I know there's going to be some, there have already been some amazing projects and there are going to be tons and tons more of amazing projects. So make sure you check back here on YouTube every day and I will put all of the information of the hop in the description box so you can check in there. And if you are new here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you and I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. I post videos here on YouTube every Sunday and then usually once or twice throughout the week as well. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And then if you'll also um, hit that thumbs up button, then I know what kind of content you like to see here on my channel. And it also helps other people find my channel as well. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again soon.